Today, let us delve into one of the most profound and pivotal moments in human history, the story of the Garden of Eden and the temptation of Adam and Eve. This narrative from the book of Genesis lays the foundation for understanding the nature of sin, the power of temptation, and ultimately, the redemption found in Jesus Christ. In the beginning, God created a perfect world, a paradise known as the Garden of Eden. Within this garden, he placed Adam and Eve, the first humans, to dwell in harmony with him and with one another. God provided everything they needed for abundant life, including unrestricted access to all the trees in the garden, except for one, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Herein lies the crux of the story, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned Adam and Eve not to eat from its fruit, for doing so would result in death. However, temptation slithered into the garden in the form of the serpent, the embodiment of evil. The serpent cunningly questioned God's command, sowing doubt in the minds of Adam and Eve. He tempted them with the promise that if they ate from the forbidden tree, they would become like God, knowing good and evil. Tragically, Adam and Eve succumbed to temptation. They ate from the tree, disobeying God's clear command. Through this act of disobedience, sin entered the world, severing humanity's relationship with God and bringing about spiritual death. The consequences of their choice rippled throughout history, affecting every human being born thereafter. Sin became a pervasive force, corrupting hearts and minds, leading humanity further away from God's intended purpose. But amidst the darkness of sin, there is hope, a glimmer of light that shines brightly through the ages. That hope is found in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to earth to redeem humanity from the grip of sin and death. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, demonstrating God's love and righteousness to the world. Through his sacrificial death on the cross, Jesus bore the weight of our sins, offering forgiveness and reconciliation to all who believe in him. He conquered sin and death through his resurrection, providing a path to eternal life for all who place their faith in him. Beloved congregation, the story of the Garden of Eden serves as a powerful reminder of the reality of sin and the destructive power of temptation. Yet it also points us to the transformative power of faith in Jesus Christ. Through him, we can overcome sin and be restored to a right relationship with God. As we navigate the challenges and temptations of this world, let us cling to the hope found in Christ. Let us arm ourselves with prayer, scripture, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, knowing that through him we are more than conquerors. May we walk in obedience to God's commands, resisting the schemes of the enemy, and living lives that honor and glorify him. In conclusion, let us remember the words of the Apostle Paul in Romans 6.14. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. Through faith in Jesus Christ we have been set free from the bondage of sin. May we live each day in the victory that is ours through him. Amen.